Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 112 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try to spam yourself. Okay, as soon as you attempted it, let's just dive right in. So right here, X is denoting the proportion of employees who buy the basic policy, and Y denotes the probability that they buy a supplemental policy. And then they're asked, we're asked to find the probability that given they have basic policy, 10% have temp basic policy, what is the probability that fewer than 5% buy a supplemental policy? So this is what we're asked to find. And we're also given here that the, to purchase a su supplemental policy, an employee must first purchase the basic policy. So that's saying like, y cannot exceed x right because let's say like and this is going from zero because all probability has to be bigger than zero but anyways like let's think about let's think this through real quick first because let's say like you have like 60 percent of the people 60 percent of the company having the basic policy then that means the p number of people having the supplemental policy cannot be bigger than 60 because in order to have a supplemental policy you have to first have basic Okay, anyways, <laughs> so then we know the f of y, x function, this formula is given by f of x, y, the joint distribution, divided by the f of x, where x is the marginal distribution. We know f of x, by definition, is equal to negative infinity, it's infinity of f of x, y, of integrating in respect to d, y. So we have to first look at what range does y exist on, what is the um, negative infinity, the smallest value the y can take. Oh, and we're also given that f of x has to equal 1.1, I mean 0 0.1, so that's plugging it in would be make it a little bit easier. And also the same thing here, we can actually plug this in here, it has to be equal to 0 0.1. So the range for this is going from 0 to 0 0.1. And when I plug in 0 0.1 for f of x, y function, you get 0 0.2 plus 2y, and integrating respect to y, so dy. When I integrate with respect to y, you get 2y plus y integrating from y squared, integrating from 0 to 0.1. The first term here is going to give you 0.02 plus 0.01 minus, when I plug in 0, you get 0. So this is equal to 0.03. Whew, I kind of talked really fast, so feel free to slow it down or stop it anytime you need. Okay, and then f of x, y, we, we can actually... We not, actually know this is equal to x is equal to 0.1, so we can plug that in, divided by f of x, which is 0.03. So then this is equal to 0.2 plus 2y divided by 0.03. Okay, and we're looking for where y is less than 0.05. So this is our final thing that we're looking for. 0.2 plus 2y divided by 0.03 dy. Okay, so I'm actually going to throw that 1 over 0 0.03 outside. When I take the derivative, antiderivative of 0.2 in respect to y, it just becomes 0.2y. Same thing here, when I take it in respect to y, you get y squared. Integrating from 0 to 0 0.05. The lower limit just gives you 0. So we're like worried about the upper limit here. Upper limit, 0 0.2 times 0 0.05 is equal to 0 0.01 plus... 0.05 squared is equal to 0.0025. So plugging that into the calculator, you get approximately equal to 0.416666 repeating, which is approximately equal to 0.417, our answer D. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!